Okay! Take fucking three! The first time my computer crashes during the freaking... Or no, right after this fight. The second time... My computer crashes ju Actually, no, the second time was a little bit better. The game crashed after this fight. Or during this fight. Eh, my words. What are they? Uh, but... I could at least recover my video then, so I didn't need to re-record Fort Condor again. Sid is gonna die. Uh, maybe Red- no, Red is- okay, uh, who has you do? Okay, and do that. So now, this is the third time I've done this fight. And I- he's running away already? That's really- the time on that is kind of random. Hmm. Okay, so, if he sticks around for longer, you can steal a curse ring from him, but I don't give a shit. Uh, I just care that the fight is over, so nothing's crashing for the third time. Uh, yeah, you better run. I, did I even do any freaking damage to him? Oh, I... Yep, looks like it's settled. Oh wait, no. Not really. Yeah, we better get out of here. Really heroic of you there, Sid. Oh, well that didn't sound good. Retro. We better get out of, the, out of here after all. Just standing there with his arms crossed. Hmm. Now that you mention it, maybe it would be safer to get out of, out of of the building, which I have to say I seriously question his structural integrity. Um. Not to mention it's full of all sorts of fragile things that could fall on you. Uh, during the violent earth shaking. Uh, to say nothing of what might come afterwards. Oh, hey, look. What comes afterwards, as it turns out, is the ground collapsing into a huge pool of Mako uh, into the life stream. You know, Shinra should totally put a reactor here. <laughs> and now we both get Mako poisoning. Normally, I would have cut during that scene for the next episode, but I'm not taking any fucking chances with the way my with how much trouble I've had with this one. I'm not stopping until I have saved. Where is Cloud? What? Who? Where? When? Oh good, I've stopped rotating. Oh, then maybe I spoke too soon. Hmm? She seems to be talking to no one. Maca poisoning. It turns out Maca poisoning is pretty damn... pretty damn terrible.
怕。Where am I? That's what I would like to know. What is this indeed? Or is it your subconscious? I guess you could say it's the world of it's the world within Cloud's mind. I guess you could say. Well. Perhaps at the beginning? Question mark? That starry night at the well, the promise we made then. But what if that memory was a lie? Okay, I guess that's not where we're starting. A sea filled up secret. Wish. Tender feelings that no one can ever know. The gates of Niflheim, five years ago, Sephiroth passed through these gates. And that's how it all started. If you say so. Let's go have a look. It's, I know it's not easy, but we'll do it together. Cloud's memory. Mm -hmm. The only truck in town. <laughs> oh, there's only one truck. Of course. So it would seem. Five years ago, two men from Soldier came. Sephiroth and a young and vibrant soldier. Can you tell me again what happened? Oh, well, that's Sephiroth, alright. How does it feel? Five years ago. First time back in your hometown in a long time, right? I saw the real Sephiroth for the very first time. So this is the great Sephiroth. But to tell you the truth, I thought he was very cold. I remember a foreboding about him. The foreboding feeling, you mean? No. No, this is not quite right. I've been hiding it for some time. I was afraid after. I was afraid that if I told you, that something terrible might happen. But I guess it kind of, some terrible already kind of did happen. Mm -hmm. Cloud never came. The two that were ordered here were Sephiroth and another person. Seems like a pretty cool guy. You mean that member of Soldier who came with Sephiroth wasn't Cloud? Well, I think that is clear. At this point. Take your time, Cloud. Little by little, okay? Hmm. 
maybe the well now? It has more stuff behind it, so I think so. Don't hurry, Cloud. Don't answer too quickly. Just keep checking all those small emotions and it'll come back. Little by little. Like the sky that night. The heavens that were filled with stars. From the beginning, okay? Just try to remember, Cloud. I suppose. Ah, oh, little Cloud is so adorable. <laughs> Sephiroth once said, Cloud made up his memories by listening to my stories. Hmm. That night the stars were gorgeous. It's just Cloud and I. That's why I kept thinking you were the real one. The real Cloud. I still I still believe you are, really. But you don't really believe in yourself anymore. Ah, uh, that's kinda sad. What what about other memories? Like There's like there's so little to say on this is the problem. Like I can't really talk about what's going on until it's happened here. Because it's like it's fairly integral. Um and I can't what? What is some memory that has... That has to do with you? If, uh... Hmm... Okay. Why did you join Soldier in the first place? I was devastated. I wanted to be noticed. I thought if I got stronger, some would notice. <laughs> Aww. That's kind of sweet. Really, Tifa? Really? Get with the program here! Obviously, Little Cloud had a crush on Little Tifa. It's not... It's not rocket science. Hmm... This Little Cloud seems different. It's important to me. I hate to say it, but it's a very important memory. Do you want to see it? Come on, hurry! A sealed up secret. Tinder memories no one can ever know. Until now. I'm actually not sure I remember this part all that well. Do you know where this window goes, Tifa? Um... This is... No, this is clearly Tifa's bedroom. I thought this was on the second floor. It was my first time here. I only used to look up at it from the outside.
Hmm. Was it indeed? We lived right next to each other, but I really didn't know you that well. Ever since we were children, what? Interesting. Tiva always used to have her own group. I thought they were all so stupid. <laughs> That's actually kind of endearing. <laughs> yep. I really wanted to play with everyone, but you never let me into the group. And I was too stubborn to ask. Probably. Hmm. Yep, yeah, that sounds like typical... Typical teenager thinking, actually. I mean, considering how old Cloud is in Final Fantasy VII, probably like early teens. Like, pre teen even, maybe? Like, the 10 to 14 range. A anyway. I mean, looking at Little Cloud, I'd s say he looks even younger than that, but I think he's prob. I think in this time frame, he probably would have been in, like, the. He probably would have been in that range. Probably. I'm thinking, how old was Tifa during the Nibelheim incident? Like 15 or 16, I want to say. Not very old. She was she was still a teenager then, and she is like, she's within a year of Cloud's age. I don't, I don't remember if there's a, the same age or if Tifa's a year younger. Aww. <laughs> it's true we weren't that close, I guess. After you left town, I really did think of you a lot. Wondering how you were doing. I guess I deluded my- I guess I, Tifa, deluded my- My own memories as well. Tell him what you told me later, he'll probably be so happy. This was the day. Tiva's mother... ...died. Which... Oh. I wonder if there's anything beyond that mountain. Well, yeah, Rocket Town. <laughs> Although, come to think of it, Rocket Town... How old is Sid? Yeah, Rocket Town's probably there right now. It, they may not have launched the rocket yet, but the town... But the base around it should definitely be there. Hmm. Many people have died here. No one crosses that mountain alive. Okay, that is obvious hyperbole, but you know you're a little kid, so I'll give it to you. This is a brash and reckless idea. Tifa. <laughs> Don't go, Tifa. <laughs> There are really strong dragons up there! <laughs> like... They will freaking kill you. Hmm. 
But she's really moving. No, Cloud, you're gonna need to go faster than that if you want to catch up with her. Uh, we're on this stupid, this damn bridge again. Just every time I see this bridge, I just can't stand it. It's a nearly a vertical drop by the time we reach the top. Oh my. What happened here? I don't remember the path I walked. Tifa missed her step. I ran to her, but I didn't make it in time. We both fell off the cliff. Back then, I only scarred my knees, but... That's kind of sad. <laughs> On a lot of levels. So, Cloud followed after Tifa, but they both fell. Cloud didn't hurt himself that badly, but Tifa was, well, she hurt herself badly enough to be in a coma for a week. And then Cloud got blamed for it. And then he sort of got a complex about it. Hmm. The first time I heard about Sephiroth, I thought if I was strong like him, then... If I could just get stronger, even Tifa would have to notice me. I want to really make a notice me senpai joke, but it doesn't work. Tifa is not Cloud Senpai. <laughs> Although, in the twisted recesses of Cloud's mind, him wanting Tifa to notice him must have warped into him wanting Senpai to notice him. Yes! Did it! Okay, um... If only I remembered more clearly what happened! I could have done something sooner! It's not your fault, Tifa. Not really. Oh, there were like eight! Okay, that's, that's a little early for... Wow, okay. Uh Indeed. Hang in there, Cloud, just a little longer. We've almost found you. Indeed. Okay. Still a little bit weird doing that, uh, but anyway. Nibelheim, go! The truth is right there. We almost have the answer right in the palm of our hands. So. Wait, Cloud. Wait. Where are you going? Question mark? To the reactor! The macro reactor of five years ago. Okay? I gotta say right now, pretty glad that they didn't actually make me, you know, walk here. That would've kinda sucked. No, that is not Cloud. That is Zack. That's right, it was Zack who came to Nibelheim with the Sephiroth. He's a pretty cool guy, but not Cloud. Um, where were you, Cloud? Oh! Zack just got... Wow. Everything. Oh. He took the Buster Sword. And 
and impaled. Who, who are you? I had so much respect for you. I admired you. And then you did this to me. The the Shinra Guard was cloud all along. So it would seem. Hmm. And Tiva never realized. Yeah. I do get a little card stick sick sometimes. I never made it as a member of Soldier. Even though I told everyone I would join, but I was so embarrassed I didn't want to see anyone. And Zack is doing the scrunches. You see? You see? The scrunches! What are they called? Whatever. They're totally Zack's thing. Remember when I pointed that out, like, way long ago? Yeah. And hey, turns out it is Cloud's back first time back in his hometown. It's something that Sephiroth actually said. And oh hey! Totally passed out there. So, so, so you're just gonna leave Zack there? Uh, I mean, I understand prioritizing Tifa. Not only is she your childhood friend, but, well, frankly, Zack can probably take a lot more damage than she can. Wait, what? Okay, Sephiroth appears to have Genova's head. That... That explains a lot, actually. Will do, Zach. Will do. Sephiroth! You killed my mother! And everyone in my- Okay. I didn't think this through. But neither did you! And straight into the reactor, which is plugged into the live stream. And this is a pre-stabbed through the chest Sephiroth as well. But the real question is, where did he get his sword back? From <laughs> Uh Hmm. In case it's not clear, by the way, the little itty bitty cloud represents his inner consciousness. Like, there's a whole lot of subtle stuff to be said about how cloud has been presented up until now. There's a lot of warring factions within him, you know? Like, there's his inner consciousness. There's the memories he got from Zack. There's Genova's whole slash Sephiroth's hold over over him. And so, like, mixed into this... This soup of... Mental anguish, I guess you could say. And please stop it with that noise. It's giving me a headache. But the clouds have been reunited.
with that, we have our Cloud back. The one, the only, the original Cloud. So, this... No, no. Let's not go there. Um, I was gonna make a bad joke, but it... It, it would have not really been very appropriate. <laughs> oh, well, he's reunited himself, but we're still trapped in the live stream. <laughs> so, you know, not... not perfect. Suddenly, we can float! Hmm. Well, are you all right, Tifa? You were in the live stream. I mean, you should have a pretty bad case of macro poison, to be honest. No kidding. Something like that, yeah. I mean... I think it's fair to say that you helped him find himself, Tifa. Hmm. Isn't that the truth? <sighs> but at the same time, how much of that would you really want to forget? Again, she was in the live stream. She definitely has a case of macro poisoning. It's going to take a little time to recover from that. I'm so sorry, everyone. I don't know what to say. How about this? You left the Chocobo at Medeal again, you freaking bastard. No, no, it's not your fault, Cloud. It's Sid's fault. I never was a soldier. I made up the story about what happened five years ago and my being a soldier. Well, sort of. I mean, you didn't intentionally make it up. It just sort of happened. And remember, Zack... Actually, we've met Zack's parents. They were in Gongo... The place, the place where the reactor blew up. Zack was Eris' first boyfriend. And suddenly a whole lot of things should start connecting to place. Mm hmm. Well, I mean, that's what, yeah, that's what Genova over Overdose will do to you. Um... He wasn't cloning Sephiroth! He was injecting people with Genova cells. I mean, he was trying to cr sort of create another Sephiroth in so far... Or, uh, look, look, just let's not go there, okay? Yeah. He was trying to duplicate the process he used to create Sephiroth. He wasn't trying to m make Sephiroth clones. Indeed, their bodies are injected with Genova cells, as I've been saying. For better or worse, only the strong can enter the soldier. It has n nothing to do with the Genova reunion. Indeed. The combination of Genova cells, Sephiroth's strong will, uh, and, in fairness, an overdose of Mako, uh... Can't remain trapped like that forever. But that's. Yeah.
Uh, yeah, exactly. That that's the plan. <laughs> yeah. And on that note, I can finally save my freaking game. Finally! Okay. This this was a long one, sort of unintentionally, but this was the safest way to do it. So, join me next time when... What am I doing next time? You know what? I think I can do more Chocobo stuff next time, so that's... If that's available, that's what I'm gonna do. In any case, until then, this has been Let's Play Final Fantasy VII and have a great day. Bye! You, you... you're not letting me... DAMN YOU! Ah. Ow, oh, it keeps going! Yep, yeah, we're definitely totally right in the middle of a mission that we aren't gonna delay for any for anything at all, like for instance, spending several hours in the gold saucer choke doing chocobo stuff. <laughs>